Hey kids, today we'll be learning about how to subtract 2 from a number. So now that we know how to subtract 1 from a number, uh, subtracting 2 really is the same idea. So let's take an example. Let's say you have 5 minus 2. So this is a diagram again. Let's say you have 5 clumps. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And you subtract 2, so you want to get rid of 2 or take them away. So you have to cross out 2 as, as a way to show that you want to get rid of them. So you do 1, 2, and you cross both of them out. And then now how many clumps do you have? You have 1, 2, 3. Since you only have 3 clumps left, 5 minus 2 equals 3. So let's turn on the sample. Let's say you have 8 minus 2. Let's say this time you have 8 cantaloupes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Eight. And once again, you want to take away two. You have to cross out two of them, so you cross out two of them. And now you have one, two, three, four, five, six cantaloupes left. So when you have eight cantaloupes to start out with, and you take away two, you end up with six cantaloupes. So eight minus two equals six. So let's try these with the number line. All right. So now that we have the number line, let's uh, do these problems. So. So you always start out with the number that you have, so it's 5, just make a big dot on 5. But instead of jumping one spot backwards like you did with minus 1, you have to jump two spots backwards because you're subtracting 2. So you would jump 1, 2, so you get 3. So 5 minus 2 equals 3, which is the same thing we got over here. You do the same thing with 8, so you have 8, and you jump 2 backwards, right, because you're subtracting 2, and you're subtracting because you're taking it away, so the answer has to be smaller, so you're going backwards, and you go 1, Two, and you land on 6, so 8 minus 2 equals 6. And once again, you can also do this in your head, so let's try uh, uh, 6 minus 2. So you start with 6, and you have to count 2 backwards because you're subtracting 2. Start with 6, and you go 5, 4. 6 minus 2 equals 4. So yeah, just keep practicing this, and soon enough, subtraction will seem very easy to you too.